Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Satem Ali here and today's topic. You don't get what you ask for. You get what you believe. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Satem Ali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we change. We on- thank you for listening, man. I'm grateful that you're here. Grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Subscribe on YouTube if you're watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and leave us a review on iTunes. Share the message if this makes a difference. All right, let's jump into the podcast today. You know, I was watching an Alicia Keys video. I love Alicia Keys, right? If I ain't got you, baby. I, I, I love her music. She's amazing, beautiful soul. And she was sharing something that, like, really touched my heart. And she was like, hey, you know, you don't get what you ask for. You get what you believe. And it triggered so much of the curriculum that we teach inside of Game Changer. What's this curriculum I talk about? You know, when I was on the football field, let me just take you back. I was playing football and I believed in myself. I'm like, I'm the man. I'm the man. I am the fastest, the quickest. I'm the best defensive end on the planet. Nobody can touch me. I'm too fast. I'm too quick. Can't touch me. Can't hold me. If you're touching me, it's because you're holding me. And because I believed that, like that's how I conceived it, that's what I believed, then I achieved it, right? You probably heard that, if I can conceive it and believe it, I can achieve it. And then something happened, I get done with football, and then I enter the business world. And inside of the business world, September, all I saw was white guys with expensive suits. And in my mind, it was like this, there was this distinction. Those guys are white, I am not. Those guys are successful, I am not. And my belief in myself, was not what it was in football. Like it wasn't that great. I hired a coach and a mentor and I'll never forget. He's like, September, when are you gonna give yourself permission to believe in yourself? He said, I've coached tens of thousands of people across the globe on my stages, in my groups, in my in my masterminds. And people believe, like they believe in a lot of things. They believe in God, they believe in possibilities, they believe in other people, they believe in industries and but the the place where most people fall short. The place where most people struggle, and this might be you too, is they struggle with what they believe about themselves. You know, you might be new in the mortgage industry and you're like, you know, I mean, that's great for that person. Or you might be a musician up and coming, or you might be an athlete, right? Freshman or sophomore in college. Maybe you're trying a new business or you're in your new job. And like, it's just scary because you actually have to take this leap of faith and believe in you. And it's easier to believe in other people. It's like, it's almost believer to believe in a God that you've never seen. And it's easier to believe in a, in a company or a program or a product. But yeah, when it comes to your belief in yourself, this is where most people struggle. It's where I struggled. And yet, when I really understood the power of self-belief, you know, like I actually deserve this. I'm actually worthy of the success. I actually believe that I am really good at what I do. I believe that I am called to do this thing. I believe that I can rise in my skill sets as a leader, as a marketer, as a salesman, as a business owner. I believe. When you really get this concept, my friends, this belief in self, when you grasp this and then amplify, do I believe in myself? When you get this, like the Red Sea opens, the lions are not scary. Again, I'm using Christian reference, right? Moses and the Red Sea, uh, Daniel and the lions then. When you get the power of belief, you'll actually go and do the work. You know, you'll go do what's required. This is the differentiator. Like this is the distinction between people who have it all, who who go create and win and dominate and like live this most amazing life and people who don't. It's the belief in self. So I think about what Alicia Keys was sharing on her video, right? Is you don't get what you ask for. Because you could ask for a lot, but if you don't believe that you're worthy of it, if you don't believe that you deserve it, if you don't believe that you could have it, if you don't believe that it's yours, well, your ask is very weak. That's why even uh, in Christian scripture, right? Jesus is like, hey, ask in faith, doubting nothing. There have been times where I have made some really big asks in the universe. There have been times where I have asked huge. 
And when I have believed with all my heart and all my soul, believed in me, like everything opened up. One instance was, I remember the first time like running like a really big event back in 2018. We'd never done this before, but we went and put a couple hundred people inside of a room, ran a three day event. I mean, this is a first time, right? This is not just like 10 or 12 people. This is a couple hundred people. And I kept believing like I'm supposed to do this. Like I believe that there's people that I can serve. And this is what my belief sounded like. Like I believe that if someone comes to my program, they will leave transformed. I believe if someone comes to my program and they listen to the curriculum and they live by the rules, they can go home and change their marriage. I believe if someone comes into our curriculum or into our world, they'll go home and make more money. That belief in me and our program and our curriculum and everything we did has like catapulted us to another level. My invitation to you is, do you believe in yourself? Honestly, do you really believe in you? Do you believe that you're worthy of the wealth, the health, the quality of relationships? Do you believe that you could build the big business that you desire to build? Do you believe that you could become an amazing marketer, an amazing businessman or businesswoman? Do you believe that your marriage could be awesome or you could get through challenges? Like every marriage is gonna have challenges. There's no question. But do you believe that you could overcome that? You know, do you believe in a, a future of possibility? Do you believe that you could learn new skills? Do you believe that you could heal from the past and trauma? Do you believe that you could have 10 times or 100 times more, more money in your bank account? Do you believe that God could speak to you and through you for other people? Again, I'm just posing questions because if you'll really dig deep and look within, you'll realize that you have the power to build a belief and a self-concept of who you are. I have a practice that's called a conscious of creation. That's like an affirmation, right? That's what most people are familiar with this concept of an affirmation. It's, you know, PPST. My, my boys know it's PPST, powerful, positive self-talk. Like what you say about yourself is who you become because it's what you believe, it's what you see, it's what you hear, it's what you feel, it's what you believe, therefore it is what you do every single day. And if you continue to have negative self-talk, disempowering self-talk, I'm not that good, I'm not that great. Like it's, that is against the law in my home. You don't get to put yourself down. We just talk through it. And we come up with new phrases and new belief systems to program. So you've been trained, taught, and educated your whole life to believe a certain way about yourself color of skin, limitations, lack of athleticism, lack of musical ability. Maybe you're not a leader, you're not cool, you're not beautiful, whatever. But you have told yourself those stories and when you realize that you get to change that and tell a new story, you, be, you realize that you're the author, like you're the creator of your life. E even, and I'm gonna say something, I hope you can hear it, even more than like God. God knows that, again, if you believe in God, God is like, okay, you're my child, you get to, you're created in my image, you can become like amazing, but most people don't believe that. And God's like our father, like, come on, believe, believe. And, and we're like, oh, I don't believe. You get to make a choice, either believe or don't. But I'm telling you right now, the effort's the same, so choose to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can go do amazing things. Believe that you can build wealth. Believe that you can have meaningful relationships. You can have an amazing home, no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, you can actually do that. And I, I challenge you with all my heart, build a belief, give yourself permission, give yourself credit, and then go behave that way, right? Beliefs lead to behaviors, behaviors lead to results. Build the right belief, channel that belief into the behavior, and it's amazing what's gonna happen when you do that. I appreciate you guys listening. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being patient with my voice. Right? I've been a little sick, so my voice is a little scratchy. But until next time, go do something with the podcast. Go be a game changer. Go believe. Go believe in yourself. Go believe in what's possible for you. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Let's go. Go, 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 uh -huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block. Do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down. Help you get your pen up. Want to be the greatest. We ain't stopping till we win. Yeah. This is how to make it when they hating. We ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.